Hello, my friends, and welcome to Space Colony HD, uh, the recently released Steam version of Space Colony HD. Now, I'm gonna—I was sent a Steam key for this uh, by the publisher a little bit ago, and it reminded me that I have never played this. I don't know why I skipped it originally. I think it had something to do with how much I loved Startopia at the time, and I'm like, why do I need this? I have Startopia. Uh, I feel a little bad about that. So, uh, we're going to start a Let's Play series real quick on this. Uh, and apparently when you start, you can choose a difficulty level. I've chosen easy since I've never played this before. Uh, but I guess we can, uh, yeah. yeah we could, I should probably change it to normal since that's what most people should play. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. Uh, so let's do the tutorial and see how that goes. Welcome to Space Colony. This tutorial will teach you the basics of colony life. Certainly you can pretty. leave at any time by clicking on the options icon highlighted above. Okay. This is the inside of the bridge. Here you control the base's power, oxygen, and medical facilities. Okay. This is the oxygen pumping facility. When an operative is working on the control desk, oxygen will flow into your base. Okay. This is a solar power collector. When an operative is working the desk, power will flow into the base. The biodome is a large interior space into which you place the furniture and facilities that enable your colonists mm -hmm. to survive in space. Personal shuttle arriving. That spaceship contains Venus, our heroine. You better treat this girl right. Out of all the social misfits you are going to meet in this story, she is the one who just might get you through it all. A new operator has arrived. Operator your base currently has plenty of oxygen, but your power is getting a little low. You need to tell Venus to go and work at the power desk. Hey. Okay. Left click on Venus, and then left click on the power mm -hmm. desk. Okie dokie. More haircut. Okay, let's take a look at the effect of Venus's hard work. We need to go to the bridge screen. That's better. Your mm -hmm. power bar is now rising. Cool. Great. We now have some power stored. Mm -hmm. To leave the bridge, click on the bridge button again. I am so sleepy. Oh, Venus is tired. Perhaps she would like somewhere to lay down. Left click on the bed icon. Now left click on the picture of the bed and yeah. move your cursor over the biodome. When the bed appears in the dome, left click again to place it. Great. Now we need to assign Venus to the bed you placed. Left click on Venus, then left click again. Mm -hmm. hmm. While Venus walks to the bed, let's take a look at one of her needs. In this case, her need for sleep. Okay. Once she lays down on the bed, we should see it start to rise. While Venus is dealing with her need for sleep, let's see what effect these needs have on her, and consequently on your ability to run the base. Okay. A colonist's happiness rating is the key to the game. It tells us how long they will work for us. It is translated into their work shift as shown by the colored section of the work clock. Hmm. Okay. While the clock hand is in the colored area, she will go and work for us. When it is outside of that area, she will tend to her personal needs. Now, let's try to increase her happiness. I happen to know she likes to dance, so let's place a disco for her. Oh, she's hungry, dude. Okay, okay. Left click on the entertainment icon. Now, left click disco. on the picture of the disco, and move your cursor over the bio dome. When the disco appears in the dome, left click now, left click on Venus, then left click on the disco to send her you there. You got it. I have to tell her to go there? Okay, sure, why not? I guess. While Venus is in the disco doing her thing, her fun bar will She's fill up. Hungry. Like all of Venus's needs. Great. We have successfully dealt with Venus's need for fun, which in turn has increased her happiness a little and boosted her work shift. But she needs she to will eat. now be a slightly more productive worker for us. Let's look. Okay. This is Venus's salary bar. Mm -hmm. From time to time, she will go to a cash machine and withdraw her salary. You can set her salary level in the bridge. Okay. This is Venus's social interaction bar. It can get lonely in space. And to maintain their sanity, operatives need to talk to a human face. This bar fills up when an operative talks to one of their friends. 
Be warned, however, sending an operative to talk to a colonist with whom they have a bad relationship will have negative consequences. Okay. This is the food bar. The more hungry Venus becomes, the more of a negative effect this bar will have on her happiness. I understand that. A colonist's need for personal hygiene is easily dealt with by placing a shower block. Easy. This is Venus's health bar. If Venus gets injured or sick, this bar will fall, and again, like all of Venus's other needs, the lower the bar, the less happy she will be. Okay. I'm gonna go crazy if I don't speak to someone soon. Okay. Venus could really use someone to talk to. Personal shuttle arriving. But she's still hungry, tutorial. A new opportunity has arrived. Stig. To get Venus to talk to Stig, left click on Venus and then left click on Stig. Stig and Venus are now going to meet each other. The simple friendly greeting between them may not seem much, but it really helps both their needs for social interaction. Okay. I want to eat. Next, they're going to need some food, especially right. Stig. He has a star next to his food need. This means that food is more important to him and will have a bigger effect on his happiness than his other needs. Hmm. Okay, to find a source of food for our small team, we must explore the planet a little. To scroll the map, push the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen. Okay. This is a tiny planet. Now, to see more of the map, now left click on the picture of the light and move your light. cursor over the planet. When the light appears on the planet, it is at a valid location to place it. Left oh. click to place a light and explore the area around your base. Keep placing lights until you find some hydromorphous plants. Building cannot be placed here. Great, you found some. Did this I? is local vegetation that can be harvested for food. Okay. To harvest it, you need to place a nutrient extractor. Left click on the industry icon. Now left click on the picture of the nutrient, nutrient extractor, extractor and move your cursor over the planet. When the nutrient extractor appears, left click again to place it. A good strategy would be to place it close to the hydromorphous plant. Now that we have an extractor placed, let's get Stig to work operating it. Left click on Stig, then left click on the extractor. You're the boss. Stig is now walking to work. When he gets there, he will jump into the cab and use the harvester robot to go and chop down one of those strange plants. Stig is now working the harvester robot. When a robot gets to a plant, it will chop it to pieces with its chainsaw arms, then vacuum it up and take it back to the extractor facility, okay, where Stig okay. can process it into valuable nutrients for our colonists to eat. Okay. Okay, pretty small map, I guess. A unit of nutrients has now been produced. In a short while, a warehouse droid will fly over to collect it. Oh, I see. That's nifty. And now it's going to be put in the warehouse, I suppose. Now that we have some nutrients, we need to place a mess hall. So now, left click on the picture of the mess hall and move mess your cursor hall. over the biodome. When the mess hall appears in the dome, left click again to place it. In a second or two, a warehouse droid will deliver our nutrients to the mess hall, which will in turn produce food. Well, sort of. I wouldn't eat it myself. The Venus and Stig are hungry, so they will automatically go and eat. Oh, that's good. You can also tell an operative to eat by selecting them, then clicking on the mess hall. Uh, good, I guess. Do, 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 do. They work so slowly. So slowly. 
Uh, oh dear. Aliens have just been picked up on the military radar and are heading our way. Okay. We may soon have to defend ourselves. All right. What are you waiting for? Why aren't you preparing the base defenses? I don't know how. Oh. It seems to have been a false alarm. And it's only a few harmless rodents. If you want to see some real aliens, you'll have to wait until a little bit later in the story, when you can choose to go and fight on some bug-infested planets. Great. Hey! What are you doing? Oh. Before we finish this tutorial, there is one more important area of the game we need to look at personal relationships. Venus and Stig can only fulfill their social interaction bar if they talk to a friend. That's terrible now, scary. Let's see if Venus and Stig are friends, and then we can work on improving their relationship a little. Mm. First, we need to place an area for them to talk. Click on the bed icon again. Now, click on the picture of select your social area type, style, and color, and then click on the place button. Now, left click on Venus. The heart symbol is her relationship icon. Click on it. As we can see, Stig is already a friend. But let's click on him anyway to improve Venus and Stig's Sounds Venus and Stig me. will now go and sit down in that social area you placed earlier and talk through their differences, which will improve their friendship greatly. As you play through the game, you will need to check on relationships occasionally. As left untended, they tend to deteriorate. Hello, we could use a little more food. Alright, congratulations. You've finished the tutorial. We'll leave. Hey, let's get Stig to call up Mr. Waterhouse and say he's his long lost son. Alright, let's start the game properly. Uh, so we're going to play. Interesting. So there's multiple modes, apparently. We'll follow the story. It seems reasonable. Alright. Ladder team, this is Control. How are you guys doing down there? Just fine. Walk in the park. Making our approach. Give me a minute. Oh, Girl, wow. Like I hope this one's better than the last stop. No bar, nothing to do. So boring. The company picks them, Stig. Not me. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't so bad. They had a jacuzzi. Okay, heads up. We're going in. Down and clear, Control. Give me the floods, please. Hmm. Looks delightful. Nice place! Yep, I feel the same way. Control, what's the entry code? Entry code is 280503 Alpha. Copy that! Sounds like the Steam chat uh, notification. Computer. Computer. Oxygen level stable. Pressure stable. Interior temperature at two degrees and rising. Damn, it's cold. Quit whining, Stig. Oh, but I like whining. <laughs> Knock it off. Get on the console. Nitrate levels look good. Should be plenty of nutrients. Don't tell me we get to eat this time. If you're lucky. What have you got? Uh, faint life signs. A couple of big ones, but nothing close. Run it through the database. Uh, no can do. Too much interference. Probably the storm. Will whatever it is cause us any problems? Nothing Stig can't handle. Fine. We've got a ton of iron deposits. Still working on the trace elements, but I think iron's where the money is on this one. Okie dokie. I trust you've seen the menu, Venus. Can I take your order? Sure. Can you prep us a couple of shredders and an iron rig to get us started? For a steak, a steak. Medium rare. Yeah, right. Who's down next, Control? Tammy. Shelly with you in five. Oh, Son of man. Oh, that's the profit's gone right there. I mean, uh, what's the hell she to do anyway when she gets down here? I'll run her through the training program. Yeah, for the hundredth time. It won't do no good. As long as she's out of fire. I don't care. Ah, oh, we better get it loaded. It looks like she's early. You're kidding. 
Hiya, darling. Hey, Tammy. Great to see you. I've just loaded the training program for you. Oh, right. Well, I was kind of hoping... Computer, fire it up. Blackwater Industries. Power and oxygen levels are to be raised to operational levels. Operative Tammy is to reacquaint herself with these hmm. controls. Interesting. Nutrient stocks are to be established in readiness for base expansion. Colony activated. Personal shuttle arriving. Still kind of funky. All right, so we a need a new beds. operative has beds. arrived. Operative mm. Venus. We need beds. A new operative has arrived. How do you operative rotate stuff? Stick. Bed. Here we are. Okay, whatever. A new operative has arrived. <laughs> office mm -hmm. ten. Mhm. Mm Okie doke. Howdy, howdy, howdy ho. Mhm. Mm Okay, so we got the beds taken care of, and now we need to light. Oh, oh that's good to have. So what do we need? Let's see. Mm. We're doing mm. okay mm. on mm -hmm. those things. But we need to assign we need to assign people to things. Let's see. So we're gonna assign you to oxygen. You're the boss. Personal message. I thought I had to get some learning on the power desk. You're the boss. You're the boss. Oh, so he is something new. You think You're I know what that is? I guess. I gotta right click. Oh, jeez. Okay. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Um. So we need to. Solar power plant. Okay. A mission objective has been completed. Nutrient extractor. Power efficiency, 30%. Where is the food? I'm guessing this grassy stuff is it. So I will tell Venus to work there. Okie dokes. And then uh, we'll bring in some food. Mess hall. Base nutrients needed. Disco. Yeah. Disco. All right. So let's. Uh, Nutrient extractor. Speed up time a little bit. I should really start storing up some base nutrients. We're gonna get hungry soon. What do you think I'm doing, man? What do you think I'm Heading doing? out. You look like the rear end oh, of hard times. Really funny. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm busy, busy, busy. I'm lonesome tonight, that's for sure. You make a whole lot of Oh, really funny. Okay, so we got a disco. What is this? Okay, so we have all those things. And we have that. We got that. We got the disco built. Okay. And they're Doesn't doing anybody want to talk personal to message. Amy? Hey, wasn't I meant to be getting a bed delivered down here? You have Power a bed. efficiency, 20%. Oh, that's not... If I must. 
God, I thought I assigned you guys beds. You're the boss. Yeah, that's interesting. Ooh, that has been day. completed. Okay. What are you doing? Did you get anyone to talk to? You be talking to yourself, Nick. You're so hard to have to close their eyes. Mission success. Oh, nice. Cool. Very nice. All right. Mm. Let's do one more. That wasn't very long. Blackwater Industries. Final preparations before mission instructions arrive. Base cleanliness levels are low and are affecting staff morale. Use the cleaning stations provided to rectify this situation. Hygiene pods and social area facilities are now online and available. Colony right. activated. Put the nose to the grindstone and the shoe in the boot. Personal hygiene pod. If I don't talk to someone soon, I'm gonna go stir crazy. Power efficiency, 20%. I need to build some more uh, of these. Be talking to yourself, Personal messaging. Okay, let me give you some good advice here. Stig and Tammy need to sort out their problems before things get out of hand. Get us a social area down here, and then just tell Tammy to go and talk things through with Stig. Running machine. Where am I supposed to put all this? Doesn't tell me how to, re to rotate stuff. That's not fun. Okay, so we got the hygiene pod. Let's uh, let's make a little social area. Cute little social area. Eh, you're all hey, fun you and you cannot be placed here. Personal message. Hey. Place me a cleaning post, will you? Let me get on with tidying this place up. Okay. I want I want you to talk dude, I want you to talk to her. Maybe she had anyone to talk to. I'm telling you to talk to her. You're the boss. Okay, well that's something. Okay, cleaning pod. Nope. Nope. I already got that. Oh, cleaning post. I don't know where I'm supposed to put this stuff. Just any old place? Um, okay. I'm just gonna do that. Some village is missing its idiot. Are, but what am I? Whatever floats your boat. I think I'm getting them lonesome blues. How the hell am I supposed to do that? That's a bad person. So just, just whatever. Okay, so maybe I should. I'm trying to have you guys socialize a little bit. Maintenance post. Hey, you guys talk. Just, just chill. Just what talk. What is the meaning of life? Maybe. Why the hell ain't we digging? Hmm. Personal message. Hey. Look out there! Right at the edge of the base, there's some pretty little red lights flashing away. Who put those out there? Personal message. They're operational zone markers, Tammy. A scout ship drops them down here. We're not allowed past them. Haven't I told you this already? Well, they're getting a little happier. Not much, not as much of an enemy with um, Stig anymore, I guess. That's good. You mean I can't stay home and play Stronghold? Oh, really? Come on. 
Okay, let's go stick. Well, alright. Let's speed things up a little bit. Ooh, got a busy day. Personal message. Hey, Stig, did you hear that? It sounded like a marker beacon dropped to me. I guess we're gonna start to see some real action soon. Personal message. Yeah, I heard it. Somewhere to the north, I think. Hey, run an organic scan, will you? I think we got some lupulus outside. Someone's going to have to get out there and burn it away before it get out of hand. What are you going to do? A mission objective has been completed. Yay! You're the boss. You want to hang out? Mission success. Oh. Yay, they're buddies now. That's weird. Okay. Uh yeah, I kinda like how it's kinda doling out a little bit by little bit. That's kinda fun. So yeah, I'm gonna go play the spatials after this and see how <laughs> okay kind of feels uh, after this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.